Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna go from this to this, inspired by the Little Nas Panini music video. Welcome back guys, sorry for my blip last week, I had stuff on and couldn't find the time to make the video. In the meantime, have you seen Little Nas's music video with Siri from the Disney Channel? How cool is that? Anyways, if you like the if you like the cool graphics effects that are running in the background, which were inspired from, in my opinion, Blade Runnery, Ghost in the Shell kind of comic effect, comic book effect rather. Um, so this is something that if my lecturer in school knew I was saying was a Blade Runnery effect would kill me, but they never explained it to me. But here I'm breaking it down: how to use static and shots to create your own holographic. -y green in the sky whatever the right word is effect let's get started open after effects and load the footage that you want to track to okay so right now it's one minute into the video now this is somewhere this is the point where people drop off my videos so if you're still here and have watched it to this point hit a like button so i know you're still so i know people are still watching it because i'm working hard guys help me out I'm going to track it slightly different on this one. I'm not using the tracker built in with After Effects. I'm using Mocha, the built in additional software that comes with After Effects. To find this, go to animation and scroll down to track in Mocha, which should then load an additional piece of software. From there, hit OK to the pop window and we're going to draw a sort of like a mask around an object we want to track um, so click on create x spinal layer tool and draw around the object i you want to track i'm going to track around the pillar of this of this dual carriageway and then hit track this should track forward in time without you worrying while it tracks i'll break down the software mocha's a really useful piece of tracking software and if you can start using that more than the single point tracker it'll work in your way in your benefit you can also use this tracking information to paste into additional software so at the bottom the few things you need to know at the top we have all the tools all the tools and majority of the time you will only use the spinal at the top to track a piece of object on the left you can place in and out points and at the bottom here which is the most important is you can tell what type of tracking you want i'm having the transition scale rotation and shear which basically means it'll track every sort of way it can apart from this perspective because mine's not warped once it's done that, on the right hand side you can click on export data which should bring up this pop-up window. From there I'm going to export the tracking points to clipboard and hit OK and then pop back into After Effects. You can place this track information directly into the layer but the best practice is right click, create new null object, make sure your timeline is at the beginning of the clip and hit paste now your tracking information is pasted into this null object so whenever you need it it's there okay to test the tracker i'm going to create a new solid scale it down and position it onto the pillar i'm only going to use 20 seconds because because that's all i need but you can track it longer if you'd like okay the closer i get the solid seems to rotate so i'm going to go into the transform settings into rotation Go to the first rotation and delete the rest so that should have sorted any rotation happening perfect i'm going to delete this layer because i know it tracks and now we can start tracking an image in that looks like a holographic scene mine you can see i've cut off the pieces i don't need put in a mask and i've scaled and positioned it into the top left corner okay now what we're next thing okay next thing we'll need to do is bring in some static to make it look like a tv screen or like it's being projected first bring in two pieces of static screen for the first one i'm using bars 
drag and drop this on top of the video and scale and position it completely covering your video do the same for the second overlay but we're going to change the modes the first the, the top static layer we're going to change the mode to silhouette luma the static underneath i'm going to change to hard light and click on this little square on the side which is under t to to make the underlay transparent okay this won't really make sense until you turn off the video layer and you can see the effect applying to the footage that you actually want don't worry too much if it's not working when you bring in the footage because we're going to change that okay next thing to do is click on adjustment layer click new and adjustment layer okay go into the effects and presets panel and type in displacement map and drag and drop this onto the layer from there the first thing we're going to change is displacement map layer and choose the first choose the top tv static layer click on displacement map layer and click on the top tv static layer and the only thing we're going to change here using this is the max horizontal displacement from 5 to roughly around 20. This will displace all the static in the horizontal plane, if that's the direction, if that's the right wording for the direction. Yeah, yeah, you can't get me. Okay, next, add in some turbulence, turbulence, or turbulent displace. Okay. First thing we're going to do to match the horizontal is change it to horizontal displacement. Change the amount down by roughly 10, not a lot. And change the size to 3 because it's quite heavy. You can see the difference it's making. And I'm going to change mine to roughly center it. There you go. Sorry, I'm going to change my offset roughly centering it okay so we have the spacement map we have turbulence displaced next next we can finally input the color so back into effects and presets panel type tint and drag and drop this onto the layer okay I want to have quite a pinky effect so I'm gonna make the top color quite darky pink and the white to quite a bright pink bro and then the last thing to bring across is brightness and contrast this doesn't need that much changing I'm just gonna change the contrast to 40 okay now I know what you're saying it kind of looks like the effect is there but then the definition is gone yep yeah I'm with you I'm with you okay so go back to the original video layer and duplicate it there's two ways to do this right du duplicate the video layer and bring it to the top you can either change the overlay to add which will bring in back bring back in the definition but also have the color as an overlay or if you leave it as normal you can open up the transparency and bring it down to give it a mix between the two now I prefer the add so I'm going back to add I don't want any of the original color bro okay and the last thing to do here is highlight all the video highlight all the layers make sure nothing is tracked yet and right click and pre-comp and hit ok then track this layer to the null object and bring the video back and it should track perfectly bro okay it's kind of there but when you do the mask remember to feather it out at the bottom as you can get a rough edge okay now once you have the pre-comp you can duplicate the pre-comp like i have here so pre-comp 4 and change the video for both the bottom and the top i'm just going to extend it out find the bit of the find a bit of the video that i want trim it and bring it back in and adjust the mask i don't have to change any of the static or the adjustment layer because it's already done as a template then bring the pre-comp into the footage position it and 
comparing it to the null object. To add a bit more flair, at the top of the toolbar, I'm going to add in, click on Eclipse tool and bring in a circle. Don't worry about the color, we can always delete this later. So go in and I'm going to open the shape tool, click on fill and delete as I only want the stroke. From the stroke, I'm going to change the color to match the pink and hit OK. I'm going to scale it in a bit. Okay, you notice how it's scaling in right into the right rather than into where I want it to be. If I undo and at the top click on this toolbar, pan behind. This will let me change my anchor point from here to directly into the center. Now when I scale, I'll scale into the anchor point then rather to my right. Parent this to the null object as we did before. I'm going to open the Eclipse tool, open stroke, and at the bottom you've got dashes. Now I'm going to add one layer of dashes. I can increase them. So we only have, you can increase them to show two. And I can offset these by as much as I want. So what I'm going to do is click on, go to the front of the timeline. I'm going to turn the stopwatch off for offset, go right to the, go to the middle and increase the offset, go to the end where he's still there and increase the offset again slightly. Brill. I'm going to do the same. But this time, instead of using the ellipse tool, I'm going to use the rounded triangle, rounded rectangle edge and draw around the other Tom Cruise. Open rectangle again, delete fill, open stroke, change the color. This time I'm going to choose a blue, no, maybe a red, a red goes better, yeah, a dark red, there we go. Change the normal to add. And again at the bottom, add a dash. I'm going to make these ones really thin. And instead, this, instead of offset, this time I'm going to make sure my play is at the beginning. Ah, one thing, because uh, I've positioned it at the end, I've got to reposition it at the beginning. Parent it to the null. Okay, click R on the keyboard. Hit the stopwatch. Go to the end. And I'm going to rotate it. Oh, what's happening? I forgot to... Can you guess? Yep, I forgot to place the anchor point in the middle. Bro, now I can rotate it as a whole, but I'm going to scale this up to cover Tom Cruise completely. No. But I'm going to scale falling Tom Cruise down a bit and reposition. Hit play and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial this week guys, sorry I had a blip last week but I'm back at it. Um, please hit a like if this is the sort of thing you like and I'm going in the right direction. If not, leave a comment and let me know what you'd actually like to see. As always, please hit the subscribe button, hit me up on my social and stay inspired.